welcome to Melissa Recovers, where I do everything I can to recover the person who I was always meant to be. Um, today is December 22nd. It's Friday. I couldn't make it to an actual meeting this week because I had stuff both on Tuesday, stuff on Wednesday, and stuff on Thursday mornings. So I couldn't make it to an actual meeting, but... Um, I committed to weighing in because I'm so so close I had this goal to get my 10% by the end of 2017 and it's ambitious like um, it's pushing me you know more than that you know half a pound to two pounds a week range <coughs> so it makes me eat out less it makes me <coughs> excuse me it makes me weigh and measure all of my food. <clears throat> it's dry here, so I'm getting a quick sip of water. Um, it makes me track everything. It makes me plan stuff out. So for example, um, my goal to get to my 10% this month has put me so that I have figured every single thing that I'm gonna eat between now and like New Year's Eve essentially you know I there's um, we have family Christmas traditions that we've done and I um, have gone through and figured what it would take to make Swedish meatballs and how many points and I track those and I figured the little smokies because my kids we all love those they're fun like appetizer type food because on Christmas Eve We'll do appetizers and play games and read the nativity. Oh man, the sun's in the eyes. Sorry guys. There. <laughs> it's a little bit better, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn soon and then it'll go away. Anyway, <laughs> um, we'll do appetizers, play games, read the nativity, and appetizers have to be more than just a veggie tray. Like, there's no reason why we can't find the points for our appetizers. So I found that Walmart sells the Little Smokies but in a turkey version. So you get like, mm, I think it's 10 of them for five points or something. Don't quote me, I don't know off the top of my head. But um, I went to the Walmart grocery store ad um, Sorry, the sun's so bad. I went to, <laughs> just ignore it. Um, I went to Walmart Grocery. I plugged in my entire menu between the appetizers. We have a tradition of having potato soup with um, sliced wieners in it, because um, that's what my grandmother did um, when she was raising her family, because they couldn't afford to have two nice Christmas dinners, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So they started the tradition of having this potato soup. It was from a frugal cookbook from the USDA. Um, and she made it every year. So I'm making potato soup with sliced turkey sausage, like smoked sausage, instead of hot dogs. Because it's better with like the natural casing hot dogs anyway. Um, hi, I'm back. The sun's still kind of in your eyes. Um, so then the next morning, uh, Christmas morning, I found an egg bake and it's got uh, hash browns in it and it's got eggs and cheese and I use turkey sausage instead. I'm using regular cheese because to me it's kind of gross. Certain cheeses are okay like part skin mozzarella but cheddar's gross to me if it's fat feet free. But anyway um <clears throat> and that is like seven points of serving and we're serving that with fruit and then um then we're gonna have ham and cheesy potatoes and like all of those things that are quintessential Christmas dinner and we're having it and I've planned it and I've tracked it I've taken um, my paper plates and I've drawn out what that looks like to me so my mind is ready to understand what um, what that food looks like so that when uh, Christmas comes around if I don't want to get out the measuring cups I've practiced in my mind so much that I know exactly okay this is a cup's worth of this or a half a cup's worth of this so <clears throat> that has kept me so 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 on track and I am so close to my 10% so let me just um, 
tell you a little bit about my week. It's been really busy. Um, there's been a lot of days where I've had a chunk of points left at the end. And um, I've said no to a ton of treats. Like yesterday at our company, our team Christmas lunch, I said no to the most amazing chocolate chip cookies on the planet. And I knew that if I had one, that I wouldn't truly know how to count it. And then I would just have to, um, I don't know, guess. And I might be wrong. And I knew I had to weigh in today. And I, I'm chasing that 10% charm. So I said no to that. <clears throat> and um, today I am going to be very careful. You know, the last couple of nights I've treated myself to a nice big cup of real hot chocolate with real whipped cream on it and I've counted it. It's high in points, but I have those points down at the end of the day. And to me, in a lot of ways, it's better than that chocolate chip cookie because I know exactly what's in it. I put it on my food scale and I weigh it and I know. So um, with that being said, I'm pulling into the Costco parking lot and as soon as I park, I'm gonna tell you guys what my trip to the scale um, ended up getting me this week. Um, I'm not gonna do what I ate today because it's kind of crazy, but um, I think I've been really hungry for buffalo chicken lately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, Chick-fil-A, get some grilled nuggets, and one of their buffalo chicken sauces. So a 12 piece at Chick-fil-A is one point, and the buffalo sauce is two, so that meal will be three. I'll probably get a giant uh, Diet Dr. Pepper because that is delicious <laughs> and I'm tired and um, that will fill that craving for me and I'm still trying to bank a few points every day so that I have a good chunk of points going into Christmas Eve so I'm totally set. Okay, so hopefully you can see me okay and I will tell you my results. Okay, you ready for this? So at the beginning of this month, on December, it would have been 7th, I weighed in. And that first week I was down 1.6. And last week I was down, oh man, I don't even have a calculator to do this on. 1.6. Our, our center still does a stamp, so they don't, um, it's not perfect every single time. So the first week I was 1.6, the second week I was 3.6, and guess what I'm down this week? Guess? I am down 4.8. So this month I've lost 8.4 pounds. Is that right? Yeah, 8.4 pounds, and I am 0.6 away from my 10%. So next week, I hope to be dangling a really cute charm in front of the camera, and um, there will probably be tears. It's not a big deal to a lot of people, but for somebody who starts out at my size to get to a 10% is a big challenge and in all the years that I've started and stopped Weight Watchers before I've never made it so your prayers your best wishes your comments your tips all of it just send it out there send it out there to the universe for me and um, cheer me on you guys anyway I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas I will be touching base with you guys when I get a chance and I hope you <laughs> do you see my little photo bombers in the back <laughs> Um, I hope that you take the time to be an advocate for yourself and realize that all of the work that you've put into losing 2, 5, 10, 20, whatever pounds isn't worth a cookie <laughs> if you're not willing to count it. But if you're willing to count it, eat up, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Talk to you later. Bye.